Hello there, I'm Maxwell Madness, and you're watching The Chef's Gone Mad. Today, I'm popping the door hinge off an orange and vanilla frozen treat. My head's in the clouds. We're making Dreamsicle Pancakes. Love it. Okie dokie. Mmm, creamsicles. Who doesn't love a creamsicle on a hot day? The combination of tangy orange and creamy vanilla is unparalleled. So I thought, let's take it up a notch. Let's make some dreamsicle pancakes. So we're making souffle pancakes with a cream cheese mousse and a blood orange combo. Mmm, let's go. And one more time. We're gonna start by making a syrup. In this syrup, we're gonna put some pretty crazy ingredients. Yeah, we're gonna put a little dash of rose water, a little bit of yuzu juice, and some kumquat. Now, if you haven't heard of yuzu, yuzu is a citrus fruit that sits somewhere in between lime, lemon, orange, grapefruit. I think it kind of tastes like clementine with lemon. It's a pretty hard ingredient to find, and I went to three grocery stores to get some juice and it cost a lot of money. But that's okay, because I got yuzu. The little touch of floral taste is something special. Kumquat is one of my favorite fruits, the sour candy of the earth. Finally, I'm gonna cut up some blood oranges. Blood oranges are beautifully sweet and add a nice touch of color. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's do it. So we've got our compo chilling out, getting ready for when we're serving our pancakes. And in the meantime, we got to make some cream cheese mousse. Chill out, Max. So if I need a second to chill before I say something, it's okay. For our mousse, we're going to whisk some cream cheese until it's smooth. We're going to whip some whipping cream up with some vanilla bean and some kumquat honey. Also a little bit of powdered sugar. Then we're going to fold the two of them together, making a creamy, tangy, yummy foil for our citrusy compote. It's time for a technical tidbit. When the guy at your favorite grocery store gives you a bag full of Meyer lemons, you make Meyer lemonade. To soften up your lemons when making lemonade, let them soak in warm water for about half hour before you juice them so you can get all that lemony goodness out. For our pancakes, we're gonna sift some flour and some baking powder in with some egg yolk and some sugar. While we do that, we're gonna whisk our egg whites with a little bit of yuzu juice until they form stiff peaks. And then once again, we're gonna fold that in and cook them very slow, like a cloud, like a dream, like a dreamsicle. You get it? Let's go! was a journey. I'm a little bummed because my mousse got a little runny, but that's okay, because it's still gonna taste delicious, I know that. Here's the Meyer lemonade with blackberries. How good does that look? Very simple, just simple syrup, Meyer lemon juice, some crushed up blackberries, and some soda water. Oh, I needed that. It's like plus 35 today in Toronto. It's been pretty hot in this kitchen, hence mousse. Got a little kumquat, a little blood orange. Oh, those pancakes. I like little clouds. Got a little bit of everything. Mop it on there. Get a big bite. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but <clears throat> that is a creamsicle on crack right there. Wow. Those pancakes are just so light, so fluffy. 
The blood orange still really tastes like blood orange, but you do get little hints in, of rose. That's a big noise. I don't know what they're doing out there. Are we at war? You do get little hints of rose too, and you can taste the yuzu. Everything's there. The cream cheese mousse. I wish it was, you know, had a little bit more structure. Delicious. I'd say 10 out of 10. Have another bite before we do the chop. Oh, that was a good bite. I appreciate you stopping by to make some dreams come true in the kitchen of my house. Um, I'm really happy with this. I hope you've enjoyed watching another episode of The Chef's Gone Mad. It would mean the world to me, the world to me, if you subscribe to the channel, if you gave us a like for the video, literally means everything. But uh, yeah, until next time, Oh, my God.